Greetings. Well, it's still raining, still raining here in Hawaii. Uh, today, let's talk about rose beetles. Most people who live here you know, are familiar with the damage that this creature can create. Here's an old leaf still hanging on my tree from last year um, that's all chewed up. But you can see we have all sorts of brand new beautiful leaves popping out of this apple tree that are not chewed. And the reason the new leaves are not chewed is I have added a strand of solar Christmas tree lights. Right down there on the ground is a little collector panel. And uh, I just drape the stuff through the tree. It's quite a sight in the evening. Uh, it's all lit up. looks just like Christmas. The rose beetle uh, chews up a wide variety of different plants. They definitely chew up rose bushes, they chew up apple trees, they like to chew up uh, raspberries and blackberries. Uh, I've seen them on Hong Kong orchid trees and uh, quite a variety of things. My persimmons are always at risk. They love to eat Japanese persimmons. Um, let's see if we look up there. You can see last year's foliage that is just all laced out in places. Uh, that was a good shot right there. That's what they do. They decline and weaken the tree. They take away a lot of its energy. Again, you see here the new foliage is nice, clean, and not chewed due to the lights. This beetle comes out after dark to feed. And uh, for about two hours after dark, they can't find complete darkness on their uh, food source. They go away. And these little lights will turn on automatically at dusk keep the tree all well lit and uh, scares the beetles away. The uh, solar strands can be found after Christmas at a good discount. These came in at 70% off. I really can't tell you how long um, this kind of an appliance is going to hold up in our weather here, but here you can see my brand new Ein Schimmer apple, uh, and it has uh, no holes on the new foliage that's come out because of those Christmas tree lights hanging on it. There's a little panel down there at the ground. Um, this idea was given to me by uh, Hillary up at uh, Cloud Forest Coffee by Hanukkah. She raises roses up the mountain over there. And they had surrounded the entire rose garden with a strand of uh, very, very waterproof, high-end uh, sort of uh, light strips. Uh, a little uh, more expensive than what I'm using here. And uh, she had completely clean roses, which is not something that's easy to do here. So, I was just on the University of Hawaii website, and we were looking at the article they had here about Chinese rose beetle. According to the university, the beetle is attracted by dim light and repelled by bright light. And so... We're assuming that the uh, Christmas tree lights I have out there are bright. I can see them for a long distance, so I guess they are. We're hoping, because otherwise we'll be doing the opposite we want to. Uh, we don't want to attract them to the trees. Right here in the computer screen, though, you'll see an image where they're using a uh, solar yard light with a bowl underneath and a piece of PVC pipe um, the solar yard light produces a dim light, supposedly attracts them. The bowl is filled with water and dish detergent. So when they're attracted to the light, if they fall in the bowl, the dish detergent uh, creates a surfactant so they can't float and they drop in the water and drown. And so I guess I'm going to keep my eyes out for a, uh, a cheap solar yard light here too and see if we can build a trap for these guys because they really are a problem, man. They chew up stuff real bad. And uh, anyway, we're hoping for the best. Uh, like I say, according to the university, dim lights and attractant, bright light repels them. Aloha. Have a good time with the rose beetles. Until later.